Then you have others who ask for trouble themselves. They ask for trouble themselves. You know, as I came into Mauritius, one of the brothers told me that, you know, here the people are very light-hearted and they love your humor, you know. So I said, well, if that's the case, perhaps we can flavor it a little bit more with it. So let me get cracking, mashallah. You know, people don't like to listen. Sometimes you have parents warning us and we don't like to listen to their advice. Then we get into a mess, but it was us to blame because you were told. Didn't I tell you? The answer is yes. You told me, but you know what? I didn't like to listen. It reminds me of a man in one of the Indian villages. He wanted to go to the city. Now, when you go to the city, there are very sharp, shrewd people in the city who are busy watching and waiting for foreigners who don't know what's going on in order to make money from them. Or sometimes people who look like they come from the village in order to con them out of their money. Like back at home in Zimbabwe, sometimes what they do, they stand outside the shop in a dust coat, you know, where, they, where there is window shopping. They stand outside the shop in a dust coat and they say, uh, which one do you want? So an unsuspecting person says, I want this one. They say, don't worry, I get it for you at discount. It says $29.99, I will get it for you for $20.99. Oh, $19.99, just give me $20. You give them $20, they are gone. They never ever come back. You walk into the shop, what happens? They say, but who did you give the money to? To one of your own people. It was your fault. Why didn't you listen? You need to walk in and buy it properly. When you are asking for something that is too good to be true, sometimes it's your fault. Do you know, sometimes there is a business deal. They tell you, come and join here with us. And you know what we'll do? We'll multiply your money in five days. Wallahi, if that was the case, that same man would not be sitting in front of you. Why must he multiply your money? Let him multiply his own money. But people don't understand. They come and they tell everyone, look, you can multiply your money. It's your fault. It was too good to be true. Now you're in the mess. May Allah protect us from getting into the mess on our own. So the story I was telling you, this man from the village decides I'm going to the city. They warned him and told him, you know, if you are going to go to the city, there are many shrewd people there. Take company, go with someone, you know, in the shaytana ma'al wahid wa huwa min al abad. Shaytan is closer when you are traveling alone to you because then there is no one watching you. Your iman will block you from doing something wrong. But if you drop your guard for a moment you might fall into the trap whereas when you are two or three traveling together there is a less likelihood of you falling into a mess may allah protect us so this man says no i'll go on my own so what you think i'm a foolish i can rob them who are they to rob me i will rob them so they left him he went he arrived in the city first time in his life he saw a building 20 stories wow looking up one two three four five six he's counting so one con artist saw that this man is from the village he's counting see he said hey what are you doing the man says i am here looking he says what you think looking is free you think to look is free he says what do you mean i need to pay yes you need to pay how many floors did you look at you need to pay 10 rupees for every floor now there were 20 stories isn't it so he says i only saw three floors he says, okay, give me 30 rupees. The man took out 30 rupees and gave them. He still didn't understand what happened to him. When he went back to his friends that evening, they told him, how was your first day in the city? So he says, it went very well. I cheated someone of 170 rupees. He says, well, how did you do that? He says, I saw all 20 floors, but I only paid for three. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You see, he is in a mess because he did not listen to advice. So sometimes the moral of it is we are in a mess because we did not listen to advice. People told you, they warned you, they told you everything, you did not listen. But still by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you can retrieve that 30 rupees. Today we are laughing at someone who lost 30 rupees. We lose 300 rupees every day. And then what happens? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors.